Hi Virgo, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading, Virgo, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading, Virgo. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Swords. So this is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. So you could be dealing with any of these signs. So this is a, a card of moving um, place. You may be moving away from some a situation, um, or you may be physically moving away from someone or towards someone. This could be a long distance connection, or this could be you wanting to move on from a, a person or a situation where you feel that there is no peace, um, moving on to calmer waters, wanting to move towards a place where you feel more um, comfortable. Um, you may be feeling like a situation is becoming more um, um, toxic or um, it's robbing you of peace. So I do see that you may be wanting to move on from a situation with this card. This could be you moving on or moving away from someone. Or this could be someone moving towards you or you moving towards someone else. So let's see um, what the rest of the cards have to say about this. So the first card we have here is the Three of Cups. So this is water in water energy cancer pisces scorpio energy you could be dealing with any of those signs next we have the king of pentacles this is earth energy virgo taurus capricorn energy and finally we have the queen of wands so this is fire energy sagittarius aries leo energy okay so i do see that you may be moving away from a situation where you may have felt like there was um, a lack of peace, things were becoming a bit difficult, um, the situation was becoming um, a bit unbearable for you. And I do see that it may be a difficult decision that you're making here. Um, there may be um, emotional distance between you and this person and I do see you wanting to take some time away from the situation moving on and with the three of cups this is you being very supported by your loved ones so your friends and um loved ones really wanting to help you out and um this may be a difficult decision but i do see that there is a lot of support here for you so you're not doing this alone even though it may feel um this may be a very difficult decision that you're making to move away from someone who you may have really cared for but the Six of Swords is more of you moving away even um, even though it's difficult. And even though you may still have some feelings or some love for this person, you recognize that um, you need um, something more for yourself. You're putting yourself first. Um, this is a decision. This is more of a head over heart decision. This is you doing what's best for you and still as you move away, there is still some baggage that you're taking with you. This is, um, you know, the, the, the pain, the, 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 the lessons that you've learned, as well as some wounds from the situation. However, with this King of Pentacles energy, I do see that there is someone else here for you. And this person recognizes your value. They see you as this Queen of Wands energy. This person is very attracted to you. However, this person is someone who's very stable. This could be someone who's very well off, financially resourced and um, materially abundant. This is someone who has a lot to offer. And this is um, an ideal partner. This is someone who 
is wanted by many. This is someone who may have a lot of power, a very powerful person, but this is also someone who moves slowly, someone who's very grounded and practical and very mature with this um, King of Pentacles energy. This person really wants to um, give you your time and space. This person would recognize that you're coming out of something and I do see this person wanting to be very supportive towards you with this King of Pentacles energy. This person really wants to help you and nurture you and um, be there for you. And them viewing you as this Queen of Wands, this person is very passionate towards you and they think very highly of you with this Queen of Wands energy. So this is an energy of um, viewing you as, you know, this someone who's very much on the same level as them. They're showing up as this king and you're this queen. And this is this this person really admires your creative side. They may be really drawn to towards something that is very creative that you do or um, just something about your style, your vibe. It's very attractive to this person. And this person, they, they really want to um, be there for you and really support and, and, and give you love. And this person is someone who may move things um, a bit slowly. Um, but ultimately, this is someone who's very capable of committing and, um, you know, um, giving being loyal and offering that long-term commitment. So this is someone who's very reliable and has a lot to offer. So let's clarify these cards. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Swords in the reverse. So this is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. So you could be dealing with any of these signs. And again, this is an, this is an energy of um, you coming out of something that you may have felt trapped or stuck in. Something that made you feel like you were not capable of making decisions. It may have been a very anxiety-inducing situation for you. And it may have really been robbing you of your peace. And I see you coming out of this and you moving away from the situation. And as a result, you're feeling more free. You're feeling more confident and more capable. This is a very empowering energy. You're coming out of that, um, you know, feeling like you cannot make decisions or feeling trapped or stuck somewhere. I do see you recognizing that you're not as helpless as you, you may have felt in the past. And um, you're, 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 you're becoming less of a slave to your mind or mental prison. Um, this is you, you know, really moving forward. And I do see you getting a lot of help from your loved ones and your friends. There is a lot of support here for you. So you wherever it is that you're going, you may be moving away from a situation with some uncertainty in your heart. But ultimately, I do see that um, this is a decision that's going to really make you happy and pay off big time. Things may actually turn out better than what you had expected. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, so the first card we have here is the Four of Cups in the reverse. So this is Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio Energy. Next we have the Seven of Cups. Again, Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio Energy. And finally we have the Justice card. So this is Libra Energy. So yes, I see things working out for you in your favor with this Justice card. Balance will be restored in this situation. You are putting yourself first, you're making that head over heart decision here. You may still have some love towards this person, but you, you, you're you doing um, what's best for you is what I'm seeing here. And I do see that that situation that was unfair or um, where you felt as if, you know, something was keeping you tied down. Um, it was it was giving you this mental anguish. You're, you're, that the tables will turn in that situation. There is justice here. And I do see that 
this person, whoever it was that you were dealing with or whoever you're moving on from, this person does also think about you. And with the Justice card, this could be them um, wanting to apologize to you. They do see you as this um, queen of wands energy. They do think highly of you and they do have um, love for you. And I do see this person having some remorse and they may want to reach out and, and just really, um, this could be an apology coming your way from this person or this could be them wanting a second chance with you. However, with this um, Four of Cups energy here, this could be a lack of interest on your part. Um, you and this person may still have a, a conversation about the things and um, ultimately it's up to you, Virgo, if you uh, want to forgive or accept this apology from this person. And with the Seven of Cups, this is again, you needing to really practice um, discernment in the situation. So it, there's a lot of decisions that you may have to make yet. These are very difficult decisions. And um, the Seven of Cups is really about you needing to have a lot of discernment in the situation. And I do see you getting a lot of help as well from your loved ones and your friends. They're, they're there to really help you in this situation. Um, so that you can feel like you can see more clearly because with this eight of swords in the reverse here it is possible that in the past this person had a way of manipulating or um, convincing you to see things their way so i do see that they they may be coming back around here and offering you a cup with this four of cups energy but i do see you um contemplating on this and i see you getting a lot of help and support here and ultimately, the justice is on your side. So I do see that you doing what's best for you is really going to um, pan out for the best for you. And it's really um, doing you, um, it's going to turn out better than what you may have anticipated or expected. So I do see that for you, Virgo. So I hope you have a really good day, Virgo. Bye, Virgo.